morning. Hallelujah. Father, we just worship you this morning. We glorify your holy name, Lord. We thank you, God, that all the praise and honor is yours. Hallelujah. We just worship you, Father. Oh, I'll praise in the name. Our praise when surrounded Our praise is the water As my enemies drown Our praise in the valley Our praise on the mountain And our praise Our praise when I'm sure Our praise when I'm
worship you, Lord. Father, we glorify your holy name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We just worship you this morning. We thank you, Father.
reminded this morning that his name is Redeemer. Redeemer. That means he takes something broken, takes something lost, takes something not ideal, and he fixes it. And I'm so grateful, Lord, that this morning you are my Redeemer, that your name is Redeemer. You can pick up broken pieces, you can put them back together. Call on the name of Jesus and be saved. Call on 
on his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
Nyakola neba ji. Yaskira no la malakiete. Jando. Jando kola malayata. Yakina ma kola zikiti la skona ma vekiato ho. Zieto. Zeto Komala se Jaco Rakina Laha Zakina no Malate Zasuno Botote Lakite Hasoto Hasoto Some are hungry for me. Some are not. Some will be, and some never will be. Some want more of my power. Some do not. Some will want more of my power, 
and some never will. My will is for all my children to feast at my table. For all my children to flow in my presence and in my gifts. Seek me, seek me. Dive in to my word, dive in to my presence, dive in to the Holy Ghost more than ever before, more than ever before. Praise Jesus, praise you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's our heart, Lord. Here is our heart. We yearn, we desire, we earnestly desire more of you. In these days, in these last days, Lord, we hunger and thirst for more of you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Work through us. Show yourself through us. Bless through us, Lord. We want you more. Not just some of the time, but all the time. Let us go higher. So here's our heart. Sing that one more time. Here's my heart, Lord. It's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my. thank you for your presence here today, for your power here today, for having your way. We just bless you and honor you and give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Let's go ahead and release our children to their class and greet somebody in the name of Jesus.
Amen. Come on up, Gloria. We'll do you first. You give me the green there, Derek. If I can get down, there we go. All right, go ahead. I am not sure that everybody saw the Facebook post, but as most people know, I'm a volunteer for Life Choice Ministries, and we are really, really excited to announce to everybody that within a year or a little over, we will be offering ultrasound at the office for Life Choice Ministries. Hallelujah. We have found that ultrasound is an enormous benefit for abortion vulnerable clients that once they hear and see their baby, they tend to keep them. So I am really, really excited. So I wanted everybody to know in case you hadn't heard, but we are on Facebook. And also that we have a, a little less than a month left on our walk for life. So please support our walkers and, you know, give, donate anything that, because every little bit helps. But I'm, you know, it's an answer to prayer really because this is just so exciting. It's going to take a while to get prepared, but we're going to do it. So Amen. thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. That is exciting news. Glory be to Jesus. Well, a few other announcements. Um, just I remind everybody that we have a young adult group thing coming up this Friday. They were doing at 6 o'clock a meeting here for pizza, and then they are going on to Wildcat uh, Creek uh, Complex and going to be doing putt-putt. So if you know anybody wants to, that's... Uh, Wants to do that, you can bring a friend, whatever, it should be a good time. Also, uh, just want to remind everybody that, that the 18th or the 19th of April is a women's meeting. Yes. yes, remind everybody on that. And also, May 18th and 19th, the, uh, the Adams will be coming from Brazil to, to uh, uh, bless us on, that'll be a Saturday night, Sunday morning. Amen. And uh, also, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen our signs or whatever, but our preschool, we, we are looking for teachers for our preschool and uh, some full-time or part-time. And uh, um, just, we've been, we've been kind of short-staffed for a little bit. So if you know of anybody, maybe you've got a, maybe you've got a, a grandkid of age or or just uh, a kid or whatever, that somebody's even, even looking for a summer job. You don't have to have it. We prefer experience, but you don't have to have experience. We will train you. So uh, if you know of anybody that, please contact the preschool. Um, please contact Rachel, and, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Amen? Amen. All right. Who is ready to give today? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this time. Hallelujah. Oh, we give it all back to you, Father. Would you, Lord, we just thank you and praise you. Hallelujah. It's all yours anyway. We need to have that attitude. It's all yours anyway. So, Father, we lift up these tithes and offerings to you in the name of Jesus. We bring our tithes to you right now. It is the first fruits, the first fruits of what you have given us. And we right now, we plant it into your kingdom, Lord, as a seed of blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Let's go ahead and receive today. Praise the Lord.
Sandra. All right. Who's ready to have church today? Amen. Hallelujah. I am blessed. I'm sitting here, and there's, there's all three of my daughters right there, all together right there. I am blessed. And even my favorite one, Sarah, is here today, too. <laughs> so praise God. Praise God. Let's get into the Word today. Father, we thank you for this word. We, we praise you. We thank you, Father, that it is sharper than any two-edged sword, Lord. Lord, let it change me. Let it change us today. Let us be different walking out of here today, Lord, because of what you want said, what you want done. Because of your power, because of your anointing, because of your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. We praise you. Have your way. And we give all the glory and honor to you in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's start. Let's we'll get right into it. We're going to start at Psalms chapter 18. We're going to go to verse 28 and 29. Psalms 18, verse 28 and 29, it says, for you will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by you I can run against a troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. We're given this context through which the psalm was birthed in 2 Samuel, which I'll read that in a minute. We, we, know, we know that David wrote uh, 73 of the psalms, and we know that at least Moses, Moses wrote some of them, and there are a few others that wrote some, but this certainly was one of the psalms that David wrote. And, and what is powerful about it is the background, the setting of it. And in 2 Samuel twenty two thirty, it says, For by you I can run against a troop. By my God I can leap over a wall. David is on his deathbed. And you can read about that. And if you go to Chronicles, we're not going to go there. But you can read about that in Chronicles. And he is looking back over his life. And he starts to write. And uh, when he starts, and when he starts thinking about the full, the full life, whoop, is that me? The full life, the text puts it like this. When you read it, it says that he was full of days. It was, his life was full of days. One translation says full, uh, says what full of days means, really what life is about Really what life is about is having full days, amen? amen. Having full days. What, what's going on here? Do I need a battery change? Okay. Hallelujah. In other words, life isn't just about just getting along and going along and, and waiting to die but he lived a life that was full of days, amen? Full of friends, full of foes, full of good stuff, full of good, full of bad days, love, betrayal. This is called life. Full of palaces, full of caves, full of valleys, full of mountains, full of miracles, full of messes, And you know, sometimes all we want is blessing, 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 blessing. Really, you're not living a full life when you just have blessing, blessing. You, you don't appreciate the blessing until you go through the messes, amen? You really appreciate the blessings when you go through the, the messes. Full of failures, full of victories. And David looks back on the end of his life I mean, this is a man who was famous. This is a man who was very wealthy. This is a man who's seen it all. He, he experienced it all. He, he lost it all. He got it all back. He's been through some stuff, amen? It's the end, and he is writing, and he, he, he's pulling the, 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 sheeps up to his, the sheets up to his nose because he's cold. His body is cold. He describes it. His feet are cold. His body is cold. And, and I almost don't, don't even like saying this, but they go get a young girl, and they, they put her in bed with him, not to do anything, but just to warm him up. And he, and, he, and he throws her out, and he says, get me a pen and paper, and he starts writing words. 
He's reminiscing. He's looking back. He's, he's going down memory, memory lane. And he's thinking about all the, that God has brought him through. The battles, the joys, the sorrows. And, and, and it's, it's the testimony of a dying man that God has been faithful to. And he says, by the help of my God, I can run through a troop. I can run through a troop. David's testimony is my testimony. David's testimony is your testimony. Come on. In other words, what I'm saying here, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost hasn't gotten me, has gotten me through some things. And guess what? I just want to praise him for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Looking back, seeing the ups and the downs, but by him, the Lord, I got through it. Can you give him a praise for that? I got through it. It didn't kill me. Come on. It didn't destroy me. It didn't wipe me out. I got through it. Praise the Lord. And we can celebrate the things that God has got us through. You know, we really ought to reflect and, and, and look back. You know, some situations were dangerous. Had it not been for the Lord on our side. Hallelujah. And David... He starts having these flashbacks of fortune and failure and hills and valleys and, and, and victories and defeats and says, when I think of the goodness of God and all that he has done for me, and I can see him, I can just see him saying, and all I can say is that God got me through it. God got me through it. Hallelujah. I had troops assembled against me, but God got me through it. And maybe there's somebody here today, maybe there's some listening online that God has gotten you through some, some of your darkest days. He's gotten you through some of the, through sickness. Sickness, and you wondered if you would ever get well. Dark nights, trials, and, and tragedies. The tragedy was horrible. It was horrible when that phone call came, but you made it through it. Through bad news, through, through, through heartbreaks, through addictions, through depression. And if you live for God at all, if you live for God at all, you're going to have multiple things that God has brought you through. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We can give him a praise for that. God got me through it. Hallelujah. He got me through this. He got me through that. He got me through that. He got me through that. Why would I doubt him? Why would I doubt him? Hallelujah. And I can just see David. He's about to leave this world and all he can do is reflect back on all God has brought him through. Hallelujah. He brought him through a bear attack. He brought him through a lion attack, he got, uh, that, that crazy giant attack. He brought, it got him through a father-in-law trying to, trying to kill him. The death of his son, the rape of his daughter, his own, got him through his own personal failures that he had. All the enemies, the scandals, threw stuff that he didn't think he would survive. And here he is, he's on his deathbed and he's, he's breathing, he's laboring and he's saying, God got me through. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's how I wanna go out. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Shouting with songs of victory. Devil, you lost and the blood won. Jesus won, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know, someday you're going to have some last words. And is it going to be a pity city? Or are you going to go out saying, he brought me through. He brought me through and not just through and not just through. And he's about to take me over. Hallelujah. Over into a city called New Jerusalem. Amen. Ah, oh, we should have had more shouts on that one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't think, I can't think a, a better thing to close out with leaving this old world shouting over every 
uh, victory, rubbing it in the devil's face, every victory that God brought me through. Amen? Hallelujah. And you might, you might even say, here, say today that being here today, that this is a waste of time, it is not a waste of time to gather and throw our hands up. Amen? And praise the Lord and remember and reflect on days when, when, when you were so depressed. And you know, I got, yeah, I got thinking about that. I've shared this before, but I had some dark times. I had an injury and I got, I got so depressed. So depressed that I can, re- I can remember laying on the floor in a fetal position, just moaning and groaning and just because the pain was so bad. And, I'd, and, and it was a point where I wasn't caring about nothing. Nothing. It was so bad. But you know what? Finally, after getting it, after figuring it out, I started to, I started to say the word of Jesus, the word of God. And you know, it was little, but it was a start. And I'd be laying there in that fetal position, and I'd be saying, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. My God is my king. And it was coming out rough and it was coming out slow, but guess what? It was coming out. I've been through dark days. Maybe he brought you through that divorce. Maybe he brought you through that funeral. Maybe he brought you through putting your child or your spouse in the ground. He is faithful, and it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. Everything that life has hit me, hit at me, I got through it, or I'm getting through it right now, amen? Amen. But the problem is, see, the problem is, is too often that that's good we get through it, that, it, that, that all people want to do is just get through it sometimes. But if you look at if you look at the story of the uh, of the ten lepers, he brought ten of them through that isolation of having leprosy, uh, that horrible horrible disease. And but but the ten lepers, see nine of the nine of the lepers were content to just get through it. I got healed. I got through it. But see, God doesn't want us to just get through it, but He wants us to get over it. Amen? One leper turned back and, and gave Jesus the praise. He said, because you've done this, you understand. I didn't want you to just get through it. I wanted you to get over it, and you were made whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I make you whole. See, there was, uh, I can just imagine the mental anguish of, uh, uh, of, of leprosy. Just the, the, the causing PTSD and everything and, and the fear of it coming back. But he was saying to this one, you're over it. There's no fear of it coming back. There's nothing filled with, and you get filled with gratitude and praise and you don't walk in fear, you walk in victory, hallelujah. You walk in victory. The testimony of David was not that God got him through his trouble, but the testimony of a dying man was God helped me through it, and also God got me over the wall. Amen? He got me over it. We want to just get through things. Oh, I got through it. I got through it. And, but I'm just, so, I'm just so worn out and just so beat down. I'm through it. That's a good thing to get through it. I'm through it, but I'm just going to talk about it for the next 10 years, and, and I'm not making, don't get me wrong, I'm not making light of, of anxiety. Uh, that's, it's a very real thing. Trust me, I've been there. But don't you think David had some anxiety? He had some, you know, he killed 300 people just to marry a girl. You don't think that when he was cutting off a giant's head that there was some, there was some messed up stuff going on? That's messed up when you think about it. Cutting off somebody's head. There was some stuff going on there. But his testimony was God got me through it. 
and also over it, over it. And he filled my heart with praise, amen. Hallelujah. God, see, God didn't bring you through whatever it is without the intention to bring you over it. He wants to bring, get you over it too. Hallelujah. And if God gave you the power to get through it, he gives you the power to get over it. Are you with me so far? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Can, can, God wants you over this. See, he doesn't want it plaguing us for the rest of our lives. People should be shocked to know what you've been through because it shouldn't be all over your face and all over your conversation. I mean, it's one thing to testify, give a testimony and, and to help somebody else that may be going, out, going through the same thing, but it's another thing to just constantly talk about it all the time. It's time to get over it. And just when, just when you think you're going to have a pity party the rest of your life, in this word of God, there's this old man on his deathbed named David, and he writes uh, uh, some words of praise and victory, just so you won't have any excuses. Amen. Getting through it. Getting through it, and then God gives you a leap in your step, and you get over it too. Praise the Lord, getting through it and getting over it. Hallelujah. But you see, there are walls of containment. There are walls of isolation that the devil wants you to stay in. He wants you to stay in. Once you go through something, he wants you to stay isolated there. In confinement about it, and even mentally, even mentally. David got through it and he got over it. He got, he, he, his two sons, uh, he had two sons that died, his daughter's rape. I mean, that's dark for a parent. And he also helped him over his own failures. You read about David, there was a lot of failures there. But guess what? He kept on worshiping. He kept on throwing his hands up. He kept on writing songs. He kept on praising the Lord. Hallelujah. How you, see, if, if we are not careful, if we are not careful, how we handle our trials is how our children will handle their trials. See, I want my kids and I want my grandkids and, and, and my favorite daughter, Sarah, to see me go through stuff and also see my hands lifted up. You guys all know that it's a joke, right? My kids know that's a joke, but it's a big running joke. <laughs> I, want my, I, want my, I want my family to see that I still believe. When I'm going through something, they're going to see that I still believe, that I still worship. And that, that I still go to church. Hallelujah. I still pay my tithes. I still give God the glory. I don't care what happens. I'm going to praise him. Hallelujah. Because he doesn't just get me through stuff, but I, if I will hold on, he will get me over this thing too. Praise the Lord. And when it's all said and done, I will be more blessed than, than before the devil even attacked me. Praise the Lord. The nine lepers just got through it. But that tenth one went back to Jesus and got over it. See, leprosy, leprosy uh, kills the nerves. And, and you can't feel nothing. You can't, you know, if you have it in your leg or whatever, you can, you can actually cut, you cut the foot off and they can't feel it. It's a disease that numbs you. It's a disease that numbs you. The sensory ability is gone because of the trauma that you've been through. But God wants to give you your feelings back, amen? God wants to give you your joy back, hallelujah. He wants to do more than wash you and forgive you and get you through this bad season. He wants to give you your peace back. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. 
He didn't just bring you through it, just through it, and then still live a messed up life. So many Christians get through horrible things. It's not that, they're, that, that, that we're not thankful. He brought us through. Praise God. We need to get through it, but we ought not to stop there. I hope this is doing some good for you today. Go through it. You got through it, and then over it. Amen. Tell somebody it's time for you not just to get through it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, in your marriage, maybe you all had a, you had a huge fight because he did something or she did something, and you got through it. But every time you get mad again, you bring it up so you're not over it. Come on. God wants you to get over it. He wants you to get over it. God wants you to get over your own failure. He's not holding it over you. It's not the Holy Spirit saying, well, I'm glad you're in church. You hear that song? Yeah, that, that's a good song, but don't you get too happy on it now because I know what you did. That's not the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's the accuser of the brethren. Come on. Sometimes there's so, sometimes that voice comes in and we'll be right here in church and, you know, uh, I, I, you know, no, I, I can't get too happy. I can't get too praising the Lord because oh, I did this thing, whatever, a long time ago or whenever, whatever. That is not from God. God says by the blood, by the blood, it got you through it. It didn't kill you. It didn't destroy you. You know, he, I, he's, he's saying, right, I pushed back the Red Sea and I let you walk right through it. And now I want you to get over it. And now I want you to get over it. And now I want you to get a spring in your step again. Amen. Hallelujah. David is laying there in on his deathbed and saying, God got me through it and over it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many of you would like me to preach this at your funeral? <laughs> Amen. He got me through it and he got me over it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Joseph's brothers stripped him of the coat. They threw him into a pit. Potiphar's wife accused him of doing stuff. They threw him into a prison, all that stuff. There was a prophecy over Joseph. I believe it's from his father. As a, as a fruitful vine planted by a well, I see you as a vine that has gone over the wall. Joseph forgave his brothers. He didn't just get through it, he got over it. Over the wall. He got through it, he got over the wall. He didn't become bitter, he got over it. And we need to watch what we say so we can get over it, amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we can get over it. David strengthened himself. David encouraged himself. What does that mean? It means to talk to yourself. Hallelujah. You know, Wednesday night, Pastor Keith, you know, he's uh, preaching on, he's having some healing, me healing meetings all this month. And it was, it was you should I think he's, we can get a CD of it. You should have you came Wednesday night. It was good. We had a lot of people here. It was an anointed time. Amen. And he said something that struck me. He said, he said this. He said, hear and believe and be healed. My God. I know that sounds simple, but hear and believe and be healed. 
Well, what's the best way to hear? The best way to hear, I got to thinking about that, the best way to hear, we got all these things we can do, to, but the best way to hear is when it comes out of your own mouth. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it comes to healing, you know, uh, uh, you, you need to come Wednesday night and get involved in that. That was good. You know, a lot of you don't know, he, Pastor Keith shared Wednesday night. He said, you know, on, on Sunday, early, Monday, early morning, but Sunday, Monday and everything, he had to go to the emergency room. Two days, two or three days before he was going to start these healing meetings, some lion symptoms came on him. He's, he's perfectly fine. He's at peace. He's, he's good. But it, the devil is so uncreative. Come on. He thinks he can give some lion symptoms to the one who's about ready to preach the word about healing. You need to come. David strengthened himself. He encouraged himself. It means to talk to yourself. You know, sometimes we see people talk to themselves. Sometimes, sometimes they have kind of lost their mind. But you know, sometimes when you talk to yourself, it can be a good thing. And the problem is not talking to yourself. The question is, what are you saying when you talk to yourself? Some of you are talking to yourself, but what you're saying is not the right thing to be saying. Saying all the negative things and how bad things are. But sometimes you have to learn to speak life over yourself. Speak word over yourself. Amen? Amen. Some of you are all talking to, and some of you all, some of us are talking to the wrong people. You're talking to people who are telling you the wrong stuff, making wrong suggestions. When, when, you, when you look at the Word of God, look in the book of Job. Job had, all, Job had all these challenges going on, and three of his friends came and, and talked to him and said the wrong stuff to him. They said, Job, you're going through all of this hell because you did you done sinned against God you need to repent yes repent we need to repent repenting is a must but how many of you know God doesn't punish you for your sins because you would have been in hell a long time ago if he did somebody ought to thank God that he didn't punish you amen thank you Jesus they talked to Job but they all said the wrong stuff to him. And, and, and we have to learn to talk to ourselves and stop talking to those jokers in our lives who think they know it all. Come on. I know everybody's got some. There has to come a time. If, I, if, I, at this, at that, if I'm not getting any help from anybody, then there has to come a time I'm going to encourage myself in the Lord. Sometimes your husband's, your husband is not there. Sometimes your, your wife is not there. Sometimes your best friend is not there. So remember, David encouraged himself in the Lord. And I got to thinking, how do you do that? Well, re, re, sometimes you can rehearse your past victories. Encourage yourself. Remember, sometimes remember that you are under divine protection. Angels all around you. There are angels all around you and they are guarding you. Sometimes you need to remind yourself who your God is. My God is able. My God is a way maker. Amen. My God is a miracle worker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it just needs to come out of your mouth. Encourage yourself. That is what David did. And you know, when he did that, he didn't use his own words. He wasn't all proud using his words. He used the word of God. He used the word of God to encourage himself. Amen? Hallelujah. Instead of beating yourself up about the mistakes that you made and the things you did and the places you went and the people you hung out with, instead of reminding yourself about the past, sometimes you have to remind yourself about the God that you serve. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes you have to remind yourself. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. Sandra, can you come to the keyboard? So what do you need to do? We need to quote the word over ourselves. Hallelujah. 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 In Isaiah 54, 17, tell yourself, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Tell yourself the first part of Deuteronomy 28, 13 that says, I am the head and not the tail. Stand with me if you will. Get excited about the word of God. Amen. Tell yourself in Psalm 18, 2, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Tell yourself in Psalm 27, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I will trust and remember the name of the Lord. Tell yourself the second part of Deuteronomy 28, 13, I shall be above and not beneath. Come on, speak, speak Romans 8, 37. We are more than conquerors, hallelujah. Tell yourself in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Tell yourself in Job 13, 15, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Hallelujah. Speak the 27th Psalm, verse 1, the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Come on, church. You got to speak over yourself. And you got to tell yourself who is worthy to be praised and adored. Because he makes a way out of no way. I don't know when. I don't know where. But I know he will make a way somehow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, high five yourself. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. That's a high five moment right there. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over myself. I'm going to speak life over myself. Not at what I see, because what I see may look sad, it may look bad, it may look painful, but where I am, I'm saying, where I am is not my final destination. It is not my final destination. I'm going through it, and I'm going over it. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, right now, go ahead and speak over yourself. Let's practice this. Speak over yourself right now in the name of Jesus. Speak to yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell yourself, tell yourself I'm going to live and not die. Tell yourself I'm going to be up and I'm not going to be down. Hallelujah. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a victor. I'm not a victim. Praise the Lord. I'm a winner. I am not a loser. What I'm going through, what I'm going through, what I'm going through is not my final destination. I serve the King of Kings. He is the lily of the valley. Sometimes the only person you have to talk to is yourself. Stop speaking depression over yourself. Stop speaking defeat over yourself. Stop telling yourself it's never going to change. Speak those things which be not as though they were. In other words, what does that mean? In other words, God speaks the end result. That's what that means. He speaks the end result. Speak those things which be not as though they were. God's got it all. He's got it all. And tell yourself this thing is not going to stay like this forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be broke forever. I'm not going to be sad forever. Because we serve a God with all power in his hands. Praise the Lord. Who am I speaking to today? Hello. Speaking to me today. Something, I'm just going to say this, something is about to shift. Will you receive that today? Something is about to shift. Say that. Something is about to shift. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How does that that start? By encouraging yourself.
That's how it starts. Encourage yourself. Speak life over yourself. Speak hope over yourself. Speak victory over yourself. David encouraged himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The wall will not stop me. The wall will not contain me in Jesus' name. I will not be numb in my emotions to others. I'm getting over it. I'm going to love and I'm going to live full days. I'm going to have me some full days. Hallelujah. I'm over it. I don't need revenge on anyone. The blood says I'm over it. And I'm going to have a song of victory just like David. Just like David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you're so good. You are so good. Lift up your hands to heaven this morning. Just tell him how good he is. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We just need to do that first song. Rachel, you got all your gang here. The first song in the set. We need to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One last time before we get out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, you're going to walk out of here different today? Hallelujah. Not just through it, but over it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got everybody. Let's do this. I'll play with you. First one, thank you. Praise went around it. Come on, here we go. Cause praise is the water. My enemies drowning. I'll praise when I'm numbered. Praise when surrounded. Praise is the water, hallelujah. Cause praise is the water. My enemies drowning. As long as long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to that you had in the past 
and you got through it, but you never got over it by what happened during that relationship. Because of the anointing here today, hallelujah, hallelujah, how you're gonna see that, you're gonna see that change, you're gonna be over it. Jesus name hallelujah there are some people that have hurt you there are some people that have done some things to you there are also it may be that maybe you did something to somebody else hallelujah and you are not able to get over it but God says that you are going to be over if you will receive that today in Jesus name come on hallelujah receive it right now under your breath say I receive that Lord in the name of Jesus I am over that situation right now in Jesus name praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah he's a God that's so powerful that can that can cause you to get over it amen amen anything else Lord anything else thank you father praise you Jesus hallelujah well, Lord you are so good and we praise you and honor you we thank you for this day Lord we just speak protection over everyone the sound of my voice Lord we just thank you father for a blessed rest of this beautiful day we're careful to give you the glory, careful to give you the honor, careful to give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget Wednesday night, healing teaching. Amen. Be there. Hallelujah. Because at the end, at the end of those, at the end of the month, we're gonna we're gonna be praying over some people. Hallelujah. Amen. You are dismissed. Have a blessed rest of your day.